Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is cool. This is the Werner, or Werner, uh, 95137A stainless steel 10-in-1 painter's tool. Check this guy out. Now, I don't know, as a DIYer, it's not uncommon for me to throw tools in a dishwasher to clean them up after a job. And, you know, one of the problems sometimes with certain tools, especially if you're using, you know, doing paint work, drywall work, uh, putty work, whatever, is keeping your tools clean. And uh, it's so much easier if you can just throw them in water and then throw them in, um, in the dishwasher, you know, for that final little cleanup. Did I mention I have to fix dishwashers? Maybe there's a relationship there. But anyway, a uh, little slippery. Little magnetic, which is kind of interesting for stainless steel. Uh, plenty of iron in that. But it's a solid, kind of a one-piece, easily cleanable, really durable tool. Uh, it is made in China, and it costs around uh, $12 to $13. I've got a link below. I When I saw it, I thought, is that for real? You know, the pic it's hard to photograph it. That's why I'm moving it around. Um, because it's a little bit difficult to try and get an actual um, still single image that shows you what you're up against with this. It does have fewer features than that other Husky that I highlighted because I like less, I, I'd rather have higher function and less, um, you know, additional tools. It does have kind of that nail pull or hanging hole there. It's got the bottle opener. Um, it does have the paint can opener here. It's got the full blade. And if you look at that, it's kind of interesting. I mean, the tool marks. Um, if this is stainless steel, then they probably didn't just grind it the same way, um, grind and polish the same way that you might have with a, you know, a usual painter's tool. Um, it's got the roller cleaner here. It's got a curved scraper here. Uh, I can't remember what that thing was. Um, smaller roller. I don't remember. But anyway, you know, I, I don't need that. I've gotten along just fine without it here. Uh, but I like the feel of it. It's kind of neat. I mean, it isn't real grippy. It's pretty slippery. But there's something almost surgical about it. You know, laboratory with all this, this steel. Listen to that. You know, for a $12 tool, it's almost as much fun just to play with as it is to use. Uh, but it does look like a great dishwasher tool. You know, I've, I've done a lot, I'm, I'm, I've gotten a lot of scrapers. I'm gonna do more with scrapers. Maybe I'll call this scraper week. I mean, I, instead of shark week, it's scraper week here at Last Best Tool. But I'm impressed with this thing. I didn't know what to think. But you can see that, you know, that transition there. For what it's worth, that's, I don't know what that is. It's probably goo. Yeah, it's coming off. But this is, to me, is a dishwasher tool. Not to work on dishwashers, but to throw in the dishwasher when you're done using it to clean it up. You don't have to worry about rust or the handle coming off of it. You know, I guess maybe it will rust with all the, the iron. Wow, listen to that. How's that compare to this? Try it with something else here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, having too much fun with it. But thought you might like to see it. Apparently it's fairly new, but I'm glad that uh, they're exploring, you know, new materials in the tool space, not necessarily for the, you know, the surgeon. With that, Doc out.